Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the status report highlight for the 18th of April 2017. And this week I've come down with a spot of the old man flu as you can probably tell, but as always, I'll still deliver on the status report highlight. And this time around we're going to talk about why we haven't seen 0.62 or 0.63 yet. And starting off with creative director Brian Hicks talking about functional issues with the economy, like dynamic event spawning behaviour, dynamic event item spawn quantity control, zone area restricted items bunching up in specific towns after extended persistence uptime, repeated spawns of the same types in a structure, consistent availability of early game basic supplies. Of course we all know the economy's been a struggle for some time trying to get it just right, but I'm sure Brian and Peter are getting hard on the job, we'll start to see some improvements in no time. Next up we're moving straight on to Lee producer Eugen. As far as what it means in a bit more detail, the visual upgrade coming with 0.62 update will feature. New tree models, denser forests, new clutter, grass and small plants, new surface textures, roads, plains and such, improved wind behaviour, new shader for the wind, affecting trees and grass, tweaked and changed lighting for the world for more apocalyptic feel, small improvements to satellite textures, rain affected by wind and refinement of its behaviour in general, many reworked locations on Chernerus, reworked Gilly to be consistent with new tech small bug fixes to some issues on 0.61. The 0.62 update will not introduce any changes to gameplay, any changes to buildings and structures in terms of model graphical fidelity, any changes to player model fidelity, any changes to animation fidelity, any of the gameplay changes, or new content that we've been occasionally mentioning in status reports. Those are all scheduled for beta 0.63. And of course, as many should know if they watch the videos on my channel, the strike team for 0.62 once complete will merge with the current 0.63 beta strike team and join their efforts to reach beta on our Steam branches as soon as possible. Beta 0.63 will be a major change for the game as a whole. And just so you get an idea of what work is being done at the moment from the perspective of disciplines, gameplay team. Refactor of hard-coded world interactions to script. There were still a couple left, opening doors for example, and creation of core synchronization model for these. Moving VoIP to server authoritative completely. New weapons API for weapon script implementation. Inventory conditions implementation for item states and more. Optimizations of item spawning for server performance. AI script API for behavior modification. New player spawn definition. New item spawn definition. Vehicle behavior in new technology. Backend toolset for central manipulation of economy and server management, community versions. Design team, user actions manager for the new synchronization model, player representation refactor and debug functionality for new player, visualization and toggles for testing and manipulation. New hierarchy of item configurations includes new technology like damage system, procedural coloring and such, data restructurization to suit the new setup, file structures at the moment. Inventory refactor and optimization according to internal version. Integration of soft skills to actions in game. Electricity and its implementation. Placing of items in world and its implementation. Animation team. Implementation of animation player turns. Polishing new weapon animations. Unjamming. Implementation of hit reactions to melee combat in the new system. Work on inverse kinematics and item poses. Tweaking player graph. Implementation of detailed user actions animations. Engine team, toolset refinement, new inverse kinematics implementation, new physics representation of non-player entities, new shaders for trees and grass, hit reactions in animation system, synchronization of new animation system, player turns, and aiming model. And Eugen finishes off with the R team and that there are new models being worked on, but they don't want to spoil anything. As you can see, there is a lot of work ongoing. In order to implement all of the new technology and content, most of the tasks are now aiming to get things working together as seamlessly as possible. And a lot of them are playable in different debug environments, but of course, not ready to be shown as a whole. And that's all for this week's status report highlight for the 18th of April 2017. It's a shame that progress isn't at a stage where we can get a little teaser of screenshots and videos with this new technology, animations and content. Hopefully soon though, as I've always said, pictures speak a thousand words. And there's a lot of words in this status report. <laughs> and a link will be in the description below if you guys want to read it yourself for all the information that it holds. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the content that I create. It does help the channel out a lot. And a like may even cure my man flu. All links are in the description below. And I'll see you peeps next time.